Okay, so moving along, we'll take the rump off next and then the hip bone or the hip bone out away from the home quarter. Now, running back down the inside of the, of, of the H bone here, we just want to use the tip of the knife, just the tip of the knife in past the bone and we're going to run all the way, all the way down to there. Then I'm going to come around, I'm going to stick my knife roughly in a line with this area here. I'm going to stick my hook in and then I'm going to start cutting in until it comes away and there's a seam there. That muscle there is the bottom of the round. Some butchers when they go very quickly just go straight through there. I prefer to leave the, the fullness of the round intact and come around underneath it because that would only be trimmed out later and thrown into mince uh, and with proper value adding you can get more money if you leave it as the round stake. So I'm just going around under the bottom of that and I'm just starting to point my knife up to this section here. This section here is the joint. That is the hip joint just there. So I just want to take my knife up to that hip joint. Now I'm just going to turn it around this way. Now, I like to keep the hindquarter parallel. So this, this angle here will be the angle that I will come from here. So the hip joint is in there. I'm just going to take it across there. So I'm going to come around up here. I'm right on the bottom of that of that bone now, I can feel it. And I'm just going to go straight across there. And I'm going to go in hard against the bone. Okay. I'll come back around this side with my knife in here and I'll come down the back of that bone. Then with the knife in here, I will start pulling it off from this side. And you can see the shape of the bone as I come around here. Up to the end of the tailbone, not going too deep because you'll cut into the rump. You just want to use the tip of your knife here. Then turn it around, go down and come out the tailbone. Continuing on to take the rump away from the H-bone now, we'll just put, put the boning hook in the back of the rump and I will just, with my knife in here, just slowly start. Once I get to this stage, it's easy just to pull it down. You can see the meat way the meat just pulls away from the bone. You can see how everything is clean. There's very little meat left on the bone, so there's very little trimming to do afterwards. Now, there's the H bone still in there and the full rump taken away from the H bone. In order to finish turning that into a, a rump suitable for, for the tray, this piece of fat would come out it would probably trim, be trimmed back to about here. The lean part's thrown into mince. This piece of, piece of fat the area here would come off. And then it would be sliced back this way, all the way back to here. And you can see how it would stay square the whole way. So that there's very little waste and minimal disruption to the shape of the rump as well. Okay, the next thing to do now will be to remove the rest of this H-bone or the hip bone. It's a pretty easy step to follow. Firstly, I'll take out the meat on the inside here. I'll just come up around here, through here. Stick my bone hook in here. Now, it's, it's just a matter fleecing it out the best way you can. At this stage though, I like to go around the hole in the H-bone here. 
in order for it to be pulled away cleanly when we take this out. This little piece here, you can trim it out and use it in your barbecue steak or whatever, but mostly you would just use it in a piece of mince. So, top of your H-bone, just putting your knife in, probably half to three quarters of the way in, and just coming down, following the shape of that bone around, you can see how I've just kind of done that. Now, I can put my hook in here. You can see that's where the hole is that I, I carved around before. And the, and the boning hook is now firmly in there. With my knife turned around the other way, I'm just going to relieve, I'm just going to relieve that back on that a little. Then I'm going to come down here, in here, and I'm going to go through this joint. You can see that there. Now this is just letting the, the hip bone come away from the femur. And so I do that. There'll be some synovial fluid in the joint, so you it's 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 fine. It's just it's just very slimy, very slippery if you um, get it over you. And you try to keep that away from the handle of your knife because your hand will slip off it very easily. The synovial fluid, of course, is what lubricates our joints and gives it our mobility. Okay, once I've got around to that area there, I then just grab hold of it here. I put my forearm on this, pull back until it just breaks. And you can see how I can just remove it from there then. And that's the full H-bone taken out. Usually, when I do this quickly, I'll do that a lot cleaner. Today, unfortunately, I've left a little bit of meat on there, but that'll just be cleaned up later and thrown into mints.